Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Gum, and uh, I'm out here bringing you uh, the first upload in a couple weeks. So, a couple of things have been going on. Uh, firstly, my hard drive on my computer just died. More like it was, uh, more like the hard disk was uh, gouged out or scratched beyond use. So I had to get a new hard drive. That took a while. And then, other than that, like, my sleep schedule was super fucked because of school. But I'm back. I'm back, baby. And, uh, I'm coming at you with a fun deck today. Well, a little bit. It's fun for me. It's, uh, as you probably saw from the title, it is a wall stall deck. Featuring Luke Metal and Pyroar. So, Pyroar... Uh, if you don't know, it just doesn't take damage from basics. That's that's all it does. And if you're unfamiliar with the expanded format, uh, that's like, I don't know, the whole meta? Except for like random VMAX decks here and there that aren't very good? Luke Metal, uh, it just has full metal wall and it becomes a fucking big bulk guy. He's big and bulky. So yeah. And uh... Not much else to it. You just wall at your opponent, trying to not even actively mill them, really. You're just gonna stall them out. So, we're playing this with an interesting. We're playing it with greens, interestingly enough. We still run the four Stevens and the Sinlins and all that, but we're running greens instead of Chain Mail. You may be asking yourself why I would be running greens when I'm running Pyroar, but uh, if you look at the deck real quick, you'll notice that Pyroar is the only Pokemon with an ability. And because it's a stage one, even if I have Litleo down, I can still play greens. So, if I don't, if it's a matchup where I don't need Pyroar, or at least I don't need Pyroar early on, or I can't get out Pyroar early on, greens is just going to be able to search for my stuff. It's like, it's a slightly weaker Stevens, but it doesn't end your turn, which is really good. So, these are going to be the two main, like, you're going to be trying to wall with Luke Metal and... Stuff that can get through Luke Metal usually can't get through Pyro. If they can get through both, yeah, you're not going to have a good time. There's still ways to beat those decks, though. Most of those decks are usually going to be like big, bulky VMAXs. A lot of them are going to be a binder drop because expanded ladder. But yeah, um, it's a really good duo. The only thing that you would be missing in this is like Hoopa, but you can't play Hoopa because it's green. Now, I'll be the first one to admit, this isn't the optimal stall build at all. Honestly, this probably isn't even the optimal way to play this variant of stall. I just thought it would be fun to play greens again. It's very similar to like the Luke Metal uh, Vileplume stall list at the end of like Unbroken Bond format. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just here to have some fun. Now we're also playing two Regirock. Regirock is just ungustable. Ungustable. Field Blower doesn't work on it, so any tool you have on it will stay. Which means that with Float, it becomes the per most perfect pivot because it can't get gusted. So, if they can't break through your one wall, and you have a Regirock on the bench, you're safe. I have to explain this all the time to people, that question why Regirock is in the deck. Again, just because it can't get gusted, that means it's the perfect bench sitter. Because if your opponent only has one out to beat through your walls, like, if they only have one out to Pyroar, well, you can't just leave Pyroar out because you don't know if they play that out or not. But you also can't really bench anything, otherwise it's just going to get gusted KO'd, right? Regirock is just a failsafe. It means that you can sit with your wall active. If they can't break through it, then you win either way. But if they have a way to break through it, but they just need to draw into it for a while, and you don't know that, well, Regirock is just like, it doesn't make a difference, except for the fact that I don't get benched out if you're able to kill this thing. So the only difference it makes is a really important good one especially when we're talking about ladder because ladder's full of binder drop like i just said and uh they play weird shit we're also playing one bunny uh bunny's just gonna be able to mill two or shuffle two well i guess not limited you can do either or but yeah it's gonna be able to mill two if that's usually what you're gonna use it for but if you need to get resources back like an energy your dowsing a beach or something just to bump a stadium via Seekers, shit like that, Bunnelby's gonna be able to get that back too. Um, Durant, Durant's just gonna be there for if your opponent tries to build up a big fat ass hand. 
It's also nice because it gets the full metal wall boost, which is really cool. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it is literally just there to see if your uh, opponent can build a big, large hand to see if they can just, like, oh, I'm just not going to play any cards, and then in. It's going to prevent that from happening. Uh, we're also playing one giraffe. This means that we can get rid of, uh, if our opponent doesn't immediately burst the seeker for their supporter, we can get rid of, like, in, Uzma. Uh, we can get rid of stuff like energy. They're playing special charge. I don't know I would, I don't know how we would get rid of their energy other than full metal wall. Other than, well, other than Full Metal Wall and Faba, but Faba already sent the energy to block. I don't know. Draft's just there to get rid of resources that could potentially make the game harder. Because if they play their one in early on, and if, assuming they're only playing one in, of course. But if they play it super early, and they don't verse the Seeker for it immediately, Draft is just going to be like, alright, well, I'm going to give up this free prize, but it's going to make this game so much easier. So much better. And then, one Mimic you. Uh, Mimic is just going to be able to discard a supporter card from your hand, and then use the effect of it. It essentially is a second supporter at the consequence of you ending your turn. So, as if we kind of need to Stevens, but we also really need to, like, Guzma something or Faba, then we can Mimic you and be like, okay, well, I can play the Faba and then just Mimic you for the Stevens. Uh, moving on to our supporters. Like I said, we're running four Stevens and four Greens. This is going to be able to search, like, everything in the deck. Uh, we're also running four Sinlins. It's a way to draw cards, but it's also a uh, vanilla versus Seeker. Honestly, this deck probably doesn't need four Sinlin. But I'm running it anyway. Again, we're, we're just here to have some fun. Uh, we're also running four Acerola. This is just safe. It, the four Acerola is just, just safe. That's it. Uh, it means that if you get end and attack through the Luke Metal, you can just... You have a high chance of just drawing into something that can scoop it up. Also, running four means that between four Acerola, four Acerola, four Max Pot, four Sinlin, four Versus Seekers, and Dowsing, you can get a potential 17 scoops per turn or per game. Not that it's ever going to happen, but you can. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, and like I said, running Faba. We're running two Faba, actually. Um, I decided it was worth running the second one. A big issue with this deck is going to be like Sessional Energy, because most of the stuff that can actually break through Luke Metal or break through Pyroar is going to be utilizing Special Energy. And you don't want to prize it. If you do prize it, you don't want to have to Gladion for it. It's there as an option if you do. But Faba is just... It, it gives you an option to hard draw into. Also, if you... If they do play, if in that scenario, if you do play one Fava, having another one in the deck, that means you have a lot more outs to Fava, because that means you still have your one copy in the deck, but you also have your one copy in discard for Versus Seeker, or Sinlin, assuming they don't just in you again, right? But you can also just Sinlin then mimic you the Fava. That's another reason that Sinlin and mimic you have really good synergy, is that you can just get your supporter back. And even though that wastes your supporter for the turn, you can still play that supporter with impersonation. Which is kind of cool. Uh, we're also wanting one handiwork. Handiwork is just your mail card. It's not really another option. Blah, 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 blah. Running three beach. You could be running four. I don't think four is needed. I mean, it's good, but... Eh, eh. You don't need four beach. Three is going to win the stadium war. Between two Faba, the blower, the dowsing, and... The Three beach, you just should be winning the stadium more like every game. And uh, and like I said, our ace spec is dowsing. I was on comp search for a while, but mm, being able to get back to one stretcher, the counter catcher, a beach, or even like in emergencies, you get a supporter back. I just feel like dowsing is too important to pass up. I like comp search in this deck because you can greens for energy, but that's the best thing you get out of it. Uh, we're also running. Again, for, like I said, 4 versus Seeker. This is just one of the most important staple cards in Expanded, especially in a deck that's so supporter-reliant. You, you're not going to ever run less than 4. It's like, come on, bro. 4 max pot. Uh, yeah, it's going to heal all your boys. And a lot of times, even if they do run something that can get through Pyroar, depending on what it is, it might be just two-shotting. And maybe like, well... Normal stall doesn't like normal stall decks that play Pyroar don't run any healing, so they're like, Well, I can accept this two shot. And it's like, Well, no, you can't. We got Max Pot, bruh. 
Uh, two Nest Ball. I don't think you need more than two. You can Stevens for Pokemon if you really need to, but like, you're gonna be able to Greens for Nest Ball. You're gonna get your stuff. Uh, two Counter Catcher. You're never gonna be ahead on prizes. This is just always Gust. Item Gust. It's really good. The only reason we even run Guzma is that we can burst a Seeker for it. But that being said, Counter Catcher is so good that even with the Guzma and all our ways to get supporters, we still run two. Uh, we're running one Eva Soda. Uh, I was running. I, I was originally running three Nest. Then I realized this deck really needs a way to search Pyroar that isn't Stevens. So I was like, "Fuck it, Greens for Eva Soda," and it works a lot. Actually, it works so much better than just three Nest Ball. Uh, one Blower. This is gonna be able to get rid of like Floats. Uh, Swell is a huge target for this deck, and getting rid of that is pretty good. Uh, it can also occasionally get rid of like. Silent Lab, I guess, against Helmet. Ultra Neck. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just gonna get rid of Tools and Swell. That's pretty much the only reason you play it, is like Float and Swell. And, uh, one Stretcher. Uh, because Pokemon Recovery is really good, especially when a lot of your really important Techmons are one ofs. Even if you don't use them every game, there are specific matchups where you probably need to go through multiple of them. Like, pretty much every matchup where you use Giraffe. You probably need to use two unless they whiff a KO for a turn. Because usually Get Lost is only useful if you can do it twice. Against, like, Tina Chomp. Because you want to get rid of their eggs too, but getting rid of their uh, Guzma and Anna is priority. Also, getting rid of their Fava is really good. Um, I guess it doesn't really do much against ADPZ because most of them don't play Versus Seeker. You can get rid of, like I said, Special Energy if they're playing Special Charge. I don't know. Again, like, because we play two Fava. Other than Full Metal Wall, I don't know why they would have special energies in the discard. But in that scenario, you can I guess you can get rid of the special energy and just a supporter. I guess it's also good in early game, in specific scenarios where you just want to get rid of their one Juniper and they're like, well shit, I had a Versus Seeker in hand but nothing else. I guess we're going to pass. And that buys a turn. In general, Stretcher's just, you know, it's, it's important. Another big thing is that you get back to bunny, and you kind of need to, so you use it. Uh, moving on to tools, we got two metal goggles. Again, we're going to be trying to wall with loop metal if Pyroar doesn't just auto win. So we don't need a Py we don't need a tech for Pyroar, or a tool for Pyroar. Because if they can break through Pyroar, it's already not doing anything, right? But if they can't, Pyroar just wins. But goggles is going to help immensely with loop metal. Because taking 60 less with a 260 HP Mon, that can turn two shots into three shots. It turns a lot of big one shots into two shots. Even with, with or without full metal wall, the 30 less can change math. Uh, and also, Goggles is pretty big against Roxy. Because this, Roxy is one of the few decks that if we don't just Fava all their energy, they can just win. Because, like, Noivern is scary. Noivern breaks through Pyro and it has free retreat. So I can't lock it in the active. And Tina Chomp's one of the few Pokemon that can one-shot Loop Metal, and that's kind of terrifying. Uh, we're running one float. One float is just going to be let us pivot out in and out of stuff. Attach it to a Regirock, and you have a, pi a free pivot the entire game. Also for Regirock, we play one Sash. Sash is just really good. It's going to make sure that if we if we need to get out two Regirock, it's going to be like, well, I don't really have much else I can do, but I guess I can attach Sash to a Regirock and buy myself a turn get more stuff. Like, I can Sash to Regirock and just get a free Stevens no matter what. And even if they in me out, I don't get punished because I have Sash on Regirock. Uh, our energies are going to be 2 DCE and 2 Fire. Uh, that's going to be able to let Pyroar attack. Uh, DCE lets Luke Metal attack. Everything else works off of one colorless, so it doesn't matter what you attach it to, but we do want basic energy so we don't just lose to Faba. And usually Salmir's is going to be when that happens. So, 2 Basic Fire. 2 DCE for consistency, 2 fire for, uh, you know, to not lose. So after that 15 minute deck explanation, let's go play ladder. Unfortunately, I don't want to, but we don't really have a choice here. Ugh. Hopefully we get to play against some actual decks. I already recorded a deck profile for this shit, and then I went to play games, and I played against three binder drop decks and lost. It was not a good time. Alright, 
see what our opponent's playing. So they got the 2013 Worlds deck box. That's kind of cool. But uh, I got some uh, 2016 gameplays. You know what I'm saying? You know, fresh. Fresh like Subway. In Zimbabwe. Oh, dropping bars. Dropping bars like I'm dropping max pots. Oh, this hand's not very good. See, if this greens were a trainer's mail, we would absolutely need to draw into like a... It is Medicham. What? You know what? I won't question. Is it Medicham ADP? Fuck. I don't know what to do. I mean, Faba is huge here. This is why we play two Faba. <sighs> He's just gonna attach double dragon. Uh, uh. I do like this hand a lot. I'm just gonna greens. Four, nest ball. Faba. We're gonna get Nest Ball. I thought I pressed. I, I was like, I just saw the loop medals. Why are they not there? Uh, I can only assume that he plays swell. I might be playing Silent Lab too, though. I already know you don't want to run away to get rid of my uh, DCE, so we're good on that part. It is kind of unfortunate that no matter what, we are gonna be giving up two prizes here. Because there's nothing we can do at all about having Durant active. We're probably just going to have to fob with the Double Dragon, uh, bench the Regirock, and then Beach again. But getting the fob into discard super early is a good thing. Really, he's playing Jirachi. Yeah, that means he's playing Swoop Up Net, probably. Not gonna. Huh. I guess he's not gonna use the ability. That or he's just gonna timer stall because he realized that he's playing stall. No, wait. It didn't do the. It didn't do the jiggle. That's weird. It's supposed to. Lele does. Why did Jirachi die? What the hell? That's whack. I'm gonna goose Mahala. Here's the Guzma already. Going bye bye. <sighs> gonna get Brooklet Hill. What the fuck? At least we get our Reggie Rocks out for free. It's actually going to be kind of useful. Oh, he's playing Octodad? This is scary, bro. I need to get the giraffe out at some point. We don't play Ranger. Because we don't expect to play against this matchup. Because against ADPZ, they just can't one-shot the loop meta. Although, they can't go through Pyroar. Down the Red Rock and on Brooklet Hill. So what do we prize? We prized the Giraffe, which sucks. Is the other Faba in deck? It is. I thought it was, but I wasn't sure. Did we prize two Beach? Oh no. Yeah, we prized two Beach. like this. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just have to pass. The only reason I'm not gonna dowsing for beach here is because I... 
I don't know what I'm gonna draw into. I kind of want to have Versus Seeker available. <sighs> also, I might want to Dowsing for the green so I can get Float here. I mean, I'm not in a hurry to beach anyway. Their bench is about to be full. So it's not like they're going to get much use out of Brooklyn Hill at this point anyway. They also don't really want to bench anything else. So we can get the Medicham back. He's probably playing the Celebi. He's had some strong energy there. That's fine. What? What? Nani? What? Why is he playing Electro Power? What the fuck? What the fuck? What is this? No way. Is he playing the Jolt the Ancient Origins Jolteon? Oh my god, he might be. Bro. Bro, that's kinda sick nasty. Bro, he's playing some of the Pokemon. Ooh, that's bad for me. But your ace deck is gone. So it's not that bad. Why is he why he has to be playing the Jolteon? Has to be playing the Jolteon, bro. Getting into energies here. Yep, he's playing the Jolteon. What the fuck do I do? Bro, this man plays the whole fucking package. How much damage does it do? 40, 70, 90. I can send up the Red Gear pretty safely here. Kind of lame, but you got to do what you got to do. Oh, we're going to have to get the Faba. Yeah, we're just going to have to stick up with loop metal and hope for the best, I guess. We did draw the max pot, so we can... If he does gust loop metal... We can just max pot Sinlin for the Faba, then full metal wall. Which is a huge boon to us. Yeah, full metal wall is going to give me a free turn to Sinlin for the Faba, and then draw into whatever. Man, our one beach in deck and our dowsing are already gone. That's unfortunate. Huh. Like scoop up net. Oh, you motherfucker. Interesting. If he doesn't attack here, I think I'm good. I had a champ special charge. I guess that does... Well, it gets him one energy back. And he had the strong in hand. That's annoying. Yep. 
They just draw in the stones. Nothing you can do about it. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so... Yeah, Stevens is a lot stronger of a card here. I am just gonna Brooklyn Hill for the other Reggie. Get that down now. And all Stevens. I'll grab the Countercatcher, Baba, and his Metal Goggles. Try to minimize whatever damage he can do. All right. See, he can scoop him at everything on his field. Which kind of makes me nervous. I'm gonna play Shrine of Memories. So I'm glad I Brooklet it for the other Edgy Rock. Now it's strong. Did I play his Gladian? I don't remember seeing Gladian in the deck, but I. Okay. Wow. Wow. They just had it. I can't believe that. That is some wacky shit. I mean, this deck would never function in a, an actual tournament setting, though. So as cool as it is. Alright, there is somebody I can actually play against. There we go. So, yeah, not much we can do there. They had, they just had the choice ban in hand. They had the fourth E power, and they just had the meta chain and the strong energy too. They just had the stones the entire game. Literally nothing you could do about that. Like they just had the fourth strong energy. I mean, when your opponent draws that hot shit, I don't care what you're playing. You're probably not gonna win against that. Except for probably Roxy and a different ADP, because ADP Z bodies that deck. Roxy shits on that deck super hard. Could be Egg Rao, I guess. I don't know, bro. Like I said, you don't play Ranger because normally whenever... Against good decks, you're only going to see ADP against like other big basics. Is this man not online? Let me go check Discord real quick. Where that homie at though? Where he at? There he is. Oh, there's Get Rack. Okay, we'll play against him now. See what Get Rack decides to play. Hopefully, he's playing an actual deck. On the coin flip, we will go second. Alright, that's a hand. That is not a good hand. I'll just go Red Rock. Red Rock's always a safe start. I think Mew Kramer Ant, probably. I thought the deck played uh, quick, but okay. I guess it plays quick and nest and not quick and ultra. I guess that makes sense. I did 
not know that deck played in Strat. Also, not sure why he decided to bench the other. Never mind. Says he can expect more. Uh, handiwork time. Ooh, big sad. This is difficult. I think I just got to do this in beach. Drawing Luke Metal is pretty good there, but not what I need. He's just going to beach. That's good. That's good. I really need a turn where I can just get out Pyroar. Bruh. That's very sad. We'll do this in Pab Beach. We beach. We always beach. We drew the greens. That's huge. Pretty sure he doesn't have a way to go through Pyroar. Already having one Pyroar in hand is insane. We'll get him there. Interesting, interesting. So. All greens. For Faba. I just want to have greens and discard. He's inclined to end me because I have the Faba in hand. He's just going to keep Quaking Punch. That's good. Max Pot's cool. Max Pot's cool. I guess we bring up Toad. Yeah, we're just gonna Steel Fist here. I mean, there's no reason to, but eh. He's gonna Quick Fall. You can always just scoop up Nepta Toad, unfortunately. He does play the Bunny, and he's gonna be able to Guzma. And Quaking Punch for 10. So, although he just got the bunny, I'm tempted to just hard retreat here. Although I do have Ace Roll as an option. But the turn I break out of Quaking Punch, I probably win. So knowing that the Litleo is prized and a net ball and a nest ball. But we also have Dowsing for Nest Ball. Give me the Litleo. Well there's the other Nest Ball. Send up the bunny and research. Ooh, a lot of his resources are gone. Three versus Seeker. Huh.
Searching for the other meat. Oh, he's gonna get the fairy back. All right, all right. That makes sense. Place salamence. Ooh, that's scary. Let's. Nest ball for the pyro now or the Lilio. And all our other energy are pri bro, we prized both of our other energy too. That's really bad for me. I don't know what else to do. I have to burst the Seeker for a supporter here, no matter what. I think we just go greens. Uh, we're gonna get Gladian Stretcher. Or, we could get Acerola too. Gladian Stretcher are probably the better ones though. That's good. I guess I should have tossed the float. He's gonna aim me to four. That fucking sucks, I guess, but not really. Because he has to draw really hot off this end. He's gonna reset hold the beach. No way. There's no fucking way he drew into all of it. <laughs> There's no way he drew into, like, the D-Valley Twin Energy Quick Ball. No fucking way. Not happening. Holy shit. Holy shit, he actually hit it. That was broken, bro. That was so broken. I'm gonna get Faba. I guess we're just gonna keep fisting him. I don't really want to put the Litleo back down until I can uh, safely secure it. There's one of my beach. Still have my other two energy and prizes, which is really sad. He's gonna special charge. Did he just try to... Oh, he's gonna draw more cards, I guess. Did he for- uh, or he forgot? Unless he really wants to shame in for six. I don't know how he would toss the toad, though. That's really dumb. He's gonna dead it. Okay, that makes sense. Well, not really. I don't know how he would toss the toad. I mean, I guess he couldn't scoop up anything else, and it doesn't make sense to get rid of the money, but why would he not just quick ball the net? I don't get it. So, great. Countercatcher is just not doing anything right now. He's gonna burrow a greens, that's fine. He's just gonna go double burrow, hit my other Lit Leo. Unfortunate, man. It also means we're safe for a turn. We can get out that Litleo. Why do we just full metal walls here, right? No, I Faba then Beach. I 
having both Baba in hand is not very safe. Bruh. Bruh. Oh, I guess he does have all of them in deck except for two, huh? This deck plays like six energy. Ooh, versus Seeker's bad. Ooh, hand hitting the float. That's very bad. It's fine, though. Do that, then we just... <sighs> How? How? How do you do this? How do you do this? In me and a versus seeker. Holy shit! Just, there's the fourth versus seeker and the mimic you. Ooh. Eight DCEs. Oh, he plays eight! Alright, that's cool. I'm just gonna steal fist now. I still have the Sinlin. He scoop. He's already in the game. I guess, uh. Guess I'll go back to Discord for a second, huh? See if we can get one more in. Alright. online he is I guess we'll wait a minute so yeah as you can see like the double fava really does make a difference there and uh even though we completely struggled that whole game with prizes because we prize like what one of the two Lilios, one of the two nest ball half of our energy and a beach I don't know what the sixth prize was I wasn't paying attention but it was that was a pretty terrible prize lineup and he had, like, what, energy four turns in a row without drawing any cards? Fucking crazy. But, yeah, he does play eight instead of the, the normal six, six to seven. So, I guess we can't be too, 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 too surprised because he had a bunch of them in deck. Uh, even if he did get another energy there, I was going to be able to uh, send them for a Faba and then KO the bunny. I was probably going to win on prizes. Okay, there he goes. He should be getting the challenge any second now. Or sending the challenge. Or I guess getting the challenge. There he goes. Alright. He's probably going to play Roxy because that's what he plays. I got him on the Roxy train because Roxy's... Rocky to bust. Big Roxy. Big Roxy got them pay. <sighs> Roxy's got big dick energy, but so do I. Won the coin flip again. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, if you haven't picked it up by now, Stall only really wins against good decks. It's what it's designed to beat. It doesn't really beat not it doesn't beat minor drop and it doesn't beat off meta garbage like Metacham. Any deck that's slow that's too slow for the normal meta is usually gonna be able to get free setup on Stall and then beat it. That's just kind of the nature of Stall. It's better at dealing with fast decks. Because fast decks kind of just draw through their whole deck and pop off as opposed to just Setting up for three turns and then using Electro Power with Jolteon. 
Unfortunate that he started the Shaman. Why is he playing the Comfy? I told- bro, I cut that card after Collinsville, bro. This card does absolutely nothing. Shot Clock's not relevant and Dark isn't relevant. I don't know why he's playing that card. That card hasn't been good uh, since I played it. That card did absolutely nothing. It was decent at Dallas because Shocklock was hype. That's it. It was like the last tournament Shocklock was viable in. And it was big too. It actually made sense for that tournament. Playing the wrong list. Oh man, I wonder if he's just playing my old list. I mean, this hand is pretty dead. This is my ladder list. Oh, that makes sense now. To beat shit decks, you gotta make a shit deck. I didn't know he had a secret or egg. What the hell? I guess it's trade lock. Because that hood's way too expensive for him. Why would he get rid of his own swell? That doesn't make any sense. No. No, what are you doing? You're throwing. Why are you throwing, bro? Why would you fucking blow your own stadium? You know I need Beach to win this. Like, it's your first- you're going first and it's your first turn. You don't need to do anything turn one. All you need to do is, like, draw two cards and then pass. You actually don't need to do anything. And that is- that is one blower is gone. I can just attach goggles for free. That- that blower play was really bad, bro. Hate to say it, but that was... That's probably gonna cost him the game, actually. Because I have a lot of outs to drawing into beach. Why would you discard Noibat? Oh, he's gonna stretch her for it. That makes sense, actually. Uh, what do I do? I don't know. A Steven Stop deck would be pretty sick. Attaching the DDE early. <sighs> Leaving the comfy out is dangerous. But I know how to beat Roxy. This is like, like this is my deck. Super easy. Three even. I don't need to full metal wall yet. I actually don't want to attach the DCE. There's the Noivern, which is kind of scary. If he does distort me, I can full metal wall that DDE. And then he'll be doing zero damage with distort. So, no matter what, I see myself getting items back pretty soon. I guess it is still possible for him to... Uh, he could be playing a second blower. Or he could find his Faba and the Zig. Because Faba and Zig would fuck me here. No, he needs to hit Faba, Zig, Choice Band. On top of, like, the float and, like, the whole setup. Both of his nets are already gone, too, so it has to be float. That's kind of why I left the Comfy alive. I was like, you know what? If he has the Noivern in hand, he's going to get a pivot. And I don't really like that. Does nag. I mean, I guess. No way. You have to discard the Zig. Oh, that's unfortunate. Even though my hand is dead turn one, like, I, I got what I needed. I, I got, the, like, the perfect turn one outside of Beach. I can't really be greedy right now. He's gonna get coughing. Does he play the second blower? Lele. Oh no. That means no chomp. That means he can't kill the Luke metal. Does he play the second blower? He 
No reason to waste your coughing here, homie. Yeah, that's probably GG. He's playing this matchup very poorly. He did find the float, though, and the double dragon. That's kind of sexy. And he's going to distort me for, like, no damage. All right, well, I'm going to greens. I'll get beach. And the other fob is prized. So I'll get max pot. Metal wall. Full metal ball sack. I kind of just put him into a position where he can't win. And he only has 12 cards left in deck, so milling himself also really hurt him. Like, really bad. Gonna fob of the goggles. Smart. I do agree with that. But you kinda just you you can't afford to just pop off without some without any way to uh is he really just gonna distort me for 20 again? I guess he does have the muscle band. Still not doing enough to really win though. I did draw the Stevens. That's hot, bro. We're drawing pretty nice. I can actually afford to give up the loop metal here. So I can Stevensburg, Gladian, Acerola. Gladian, Acerola, and what else? How many Versus Seekers has he played? Zero. So he still has in and four Versus Seekers left. So that means I have to go hard on the mill game. There's the in. Distort, that's fine. We're gonna greens for Acerola and Nest Ball. His game plan kind of has to be to just go into a Guznak and KO here. I guess he could Sonic Volume. But then he'll give me items back. There's the Acerola. He could Roxy KO, so I'm just going to Acerola this right now. Go into Mimikyu. Bench this again. And pass. Oh, uh, you know what? I could have used Impersonation. That was a misplay. I could have used Impersonation for Sinlin and got back to Faba. Instead of wasting my turn. Yeah. I don't think that matters much, though. Uh, we'll do this to get rid of Max Pot. Get back Faba. And pass. That is so F. Sad. Yeah. Yeah. 
I also have a really good Durant play. I don't think that's his last DCE, right? Or double yeah, that is his fourth double dragon. No, it's not. He has one more. And he has the DS for N. Every time he does that, he burns a card. Like I said, he had to go into the Gus Nagging KO there. And hope that I didn't have Faba. Yep, we are going to be able to just green tier for Faba Acerola. Green's kind of bust. He knows what's going on. He knows the scenario he's in. It's not looking good. Oh, that's sad, bro. That's so sad. Uh, we got Ghetto. Or Guznag. That way you can't retreat. Yeah. And then pass. I have max pot VS Seeker, so even if he's lying to me, he's just kind of screwed. Going to do this for a meme. Ha! <laughs> Goose with a Reggie Rock. That is a that's a pretty bit that's a that's a pretty gum fresh meme in my Twitch chat. Is that everybody always tries to goose with a Reggie Rock on ladder. It's really funny. It's really funny and it never gets old. Like I'm just, I'm not shitting you. Every fucking person on ladder tries to goose with a Reggie. It's so funny. But yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty much it. It's it's stall. Go check me out on Twitch. I play... I, I don't even always play Pokemon on Twitch. If you want to play some other fun games, this shit, last night, this past Friday night, I was streaming fun games with viewers like Among Us and a bunch of funny word games. It was a good time. It was a good time. Everybody was laughing. Everybody was coming. It was a great time. And right after posting this, I'm going to be doing a Super Mario Galaxy playthrough as Luigi. Doing 120 stars. So if you if you like Super Mario Galaxy or just any 3D Mario games, go check me out on Twitch. I'm not kidding you. Do it. I'll fucking cap you if you don't. Link in the description. It's like the first thing in the description. Go check me out on Twitch. I, suck, I fucking swear to God, I'll suck your dick. <laughs>